All right, now I've lifted this up with uh, this pulley up here. Get a close up of it. Up here, this is a Harbor Freight snatch block. And it goes out to my truck, this end over here. If I can get a hold of it. Okay, right there. That goes out to the truck, and I've got that on a 3 8 inch bolt. Now I'm, my idea is to bring this whole thing down and then uh, set it on the ground. I, I got it at sort of an angle and the way I did that was I hooked this uh, rope on here and there's two long bolts for the uh, sanding mechanism and then also I wrapped it up around this belt this is uh, sort of a uh, feed belt so we'll see how that goes I'm going to take the saw horses out we'll see if we can set it on the ground without any damage Going to try to pick it up with this engine hoist. The engine hoist is over here. This blue thing right here. Uh, that is a Bluebird engine hoist that I bought from Sun Rentals. Okay, now we'll have to put that together and I will show you how to do that. Now there's a hole on top of this long piece right here and same with the other one that is over there. But there's a hole on top. That has to be on top because there's a locking me mechanism for that hole. Also, this wheel right here at the bottom, it has to be turned like that so that the wheel part of it is at the bottom, the circular part of the wheel. Okay, that one was a little easier, and I found that it was easier just to keep shoving that bar right there shoving it 
clear back with a little bit of muscle. This area and this area have to be facing this way, like that. Remaining piece, this must be put up here. And I believe that's how it goes. We'll have to try it, because I don't remember. I've only tried it once before. All right, so, so there, up at the, right at the end of my finger, is a little socket. That jack, at the top of the jack, has to go in that socket. And then this is the arm, right here, that I'm gonna lift up everything with. I want to show you the idea that I had here, and I don't know if it's going to work or not, but I've got two legs wrapped with this red rope. I don't know what the uh, strength of this rope is, how many pounds it can take. I can see right now a problem with the handle up here. But I've got two ends of the rope on this leg and then the one on the other side that you cannot see. I want to show you the idea that I had here and I don't know if it's going to work or not. But I've got two legs wrapped with this red rope. I don't know what the uh, strength of this rope is, how many pounds it can take. I can see right now a problem with the handle up here. But I've got two ends of the rope on this leg and then the one on the other side that you cannot see. I'm going to use the uh, truck and this engine hoist to try to get it up. Well, this engine hoist will only lift it a couple inches off the ground. Um, I'm going to have to get a backhoe or something like that. It's uh, 200 and some pounds. And I have to get it into the entrance of my shop. And that isn't going to be easy either. Okay, this very crude thing here. I'm going to sand it down a little and it's a good idea to plug it in
So basically what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to make a camper so that I can have some comfort while I'm hunting and uh, so it's been a trip okay now for this middle stud here I'm trying to make it um, as light as possible therefore these are rough cut studs that I made them into studs and they're basically one inch material uh, I put these square blocks in here there's one over here and the one over here also and I had to cut this one down a little bit because I want the uh, plywood that's going to go over this I want it to sort of curve it has a gentle curve in it and this is going to go back toward the uh, cab of the truck I don't know if I want to put a window in it or not but I can always do that later but right now I'm going to put a piece of plywood over here alright this is one of the walls that I made this is going to go on the uh, passenger side and I did put some uh, caulking behind both edges then I put caulking up here because there's another piece up here piece of wood and I caulked behind it same over there on the other side and then I used these uh, 57 inch pieces of wood and those are going to um, those are going to be the sides and I figured that if you make it 57 that it'll be okay uh, so that I can stand up in the back of this camper and uh, those are going to be quite heavy I'm going to have to use this uh, hook system pulley system that's a snatch block as I said earlier from Harbor Freight Okay, now what I did was I found these two nail holes where I put in this center partition or center stud and then I put my square on here and drew lines. Okay, you're going to want to clean this off with a wire brush. 